Your thyroid broke, but we can fix it. Is this you? Do you feel hot or get in a sweat? Are you restless and fidgety, easily upset? Are you tired and weak? Is your skin sometimes itchy? Do your eyes feel sore or occasionally gritty? Do you often feel hungry and eat all your dinner? But despite this, you seem to keep on getting thinner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nope, that's not me. Well, all right then. How about this? Are you tired a lot and just feel a bit blue? Are you finding it difficult to go to the loo? <sighs> hey! Is your hair dry and thinning? Do you often get cold? <sighs> Do you feel slow and tired, like somebody old? Yeah. You've both got thyroid problems. Huh? huh? Who are you? My name is Dr. Josephine Etter, and I help people with thyroid problems get better. What's a thyroid? It's part of your neck. I don't see anything. No, it's on the inside. You've got one too. Here, let me show you what thyroids can do. It looks like a butterfly. No, it's a game controller. Well, actually, it's a gland, so you know, and it's really important for helping you grow. Thyroid's a funny word. Thyroid, thyroid, thyroid. I suppose I'd better take a look at you both. But first, you'll each need a blood test. What's a blood test? Is it like a test at school? It's much easier than a test at school. The nurse puts a small needle into your arm. It just takes a minute, so try to stay calm. Won't that hurt? A little. But if you can be brave for a minute, it'll be over almost before they begin it. I can do that. What happens to the blood? Yeah, do they do something cool with it and then put it back in and it turns you into a superhero? Sorry, they just send it off to run tests to make sure your thyroid is doing its best. Oh, OK. It's lovely to meet you both. Here, shake my hand. Now, I'd like to examine your thyroid gland. To examine your thyroid, I'm just going to check how it feels by putting my hands on your neck. The thyroid helps you to grow up big and strong but sometimes your thyroid can go a bit wrong. It should be releasing hormones and stuff, but yours isn't working quite hard enough. Is it lazy? No, no, it's just underactive. Underactive. The name for what you have is hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism. Is that bad? It doesn't have to be a big deal, but it does explain how cold and tired you feel. I'll give you some tablets to take every day. You'll soon have the energy to go out and play. I'm going to start you on this medicine. It's called levothyroxine. Levothyroxine. Now then, I think it's your turn in the chair. If you'd kindly like to just have a seat for me there. Ha ha, your thyroid's wonky. Well now, just a moment, your thyroid is wonky too. We can fix all your sweating and itching at last. Young lady, your thyroid is working too fast. Your thyroid is overactive, you see. Overactive. The fancy name for this is hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism. OK. Do I have to take some medicine too? Yes, but I have a different prescription for you. It's called carbimazole. Carbimazole. How long do I have to keep taking my medicine? You'll probably have to take it forever, but that's perfectly normal. Remember, it's clever to listen to doctors and make sure to do whatever it is they're telling you to. Well, I have to take my medicine forever as well. In fact, there are several choices for you. Your doctor will help you decide what to do. Why do I have a thyroid problem? Did I catch it from someone? <gasps> it's OK. It's not like a cold or the flu. You can't catch it and no one can catch it from you. So where did it come from? Thyroid problems can run in the family, which means that you might have inherited it in your genes. But I'm not wearing genes. No, not genes. Genes! The genetic material from which we're all made. But your family should be fine. Don't be afraid. Phew, that's good. And don't worry, of course, both of you will be fine. You'll just need to have a blood test from time to time. What if I keep taking my medicine, but the blood test says that my thyroid still isn't working properly? If you still don't feel right after a year or two, your doctor will help you decide what to do. For hyperthyroidism, a small operation can sometimes improve your situation. But your doctor will always talk it through with you first. Good. When grown-ups decide without me, that's the worst. So what happens now? 
Your medicine should start to make you feel better. Ha! Silly thyroid. Thanks, Dr. Etta. People's thyroids don't always behave the right way. Take your medicine daily and things should be okay. Do I have to tell people at school or my friends? Talk to a grown-up. See what he or she recommends. Will, Will we, we be, be normal? normal? Yes, yes, of course. You'll grow up just fine and be feeling more like your old selves in no time. And if you're a person who's always been smaller, don't be surprised if you start getting taller. Told you I'd turn into a superhero. For support and information about living with thyroid problems, visit our website at btf-thyroid.org. That's a good idea. Thyroid disorders in children are rare. Here we've talked about the most common thyroid disorders, hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. For information about any thyroid disorder, talk to your doctor or contact BTF. British Thyroid Foundation, 2nd Floor, 3 Devonshire Place, Harrogate, HG14 AA, www.btf-thyroid.org, 01423709707. It's an H. I still think it's a games controller.